If math is not your strong subject on the SAT, I highly recommend you learn how to do this on Desmos. All right, so I'm going to use this technique when I have equivalent expressions where I have a variable in one of the expressions asking when it is equivalent to another expression. So for example, uh, in this problem here, we want to find out uh, what is the value of P. So let me show you how to do a regression on Desmos. Um, I'll walk you through the steps with this and this will really help you. It'll help you get the answers. It'll save you a lot of frustration. Okay, let's get started. All right, so let me show you how to do a regression on this. And in many cases, this is going to be faster than actually trying to do the algebra. So we're going to put the first expression in as f of x. So we got 3 times 2x squared plus px plus 8 minus 16x times p plus 4. Okay, it'll ask us to add a slider. Let's add a slider at this point so it'll define that function. We can remove this when we're done, and I'll show you. We're going to use g of x, and we're going to put in the other expression, 6x squared, and this is what we're trying to match up with our expression, 155x plus 24. All right, now what we want to do is we want to define the regression. So we're going to use the tilde symbol. And we have to pick a different letter other than the input for the function x. So I'm going to pick f of k. So I'm going to use the k value. All right. Now the tilde symbol is above the tab key. If we hit shift above the tab key, we get that symbol. And now I'm going to say g of k. Okay, at this point it's not really giving us the information that we need. But simply all we have to do now is we can remove the slider for p, okay, and then we go down to here, and we can give k any value that we want in set notation. So we just say k equals, and then put brackets. You could put whatever number you want. So I'm going to put in 1, and look what we have. We have our answer, p equals 7. Now, if there were multiple variables in here, so for example, some of the SAT questions have a and b, then you would need two values to put in here into the set, okay? Um, you just have to be careful. The value you put into the set has to be uh, make the function defined. So, for example, you can't put in a value where you maybe would divide by zero in one of the functions, okay? So now watch. I'll show you how it works for any, any number k in the set. So if I put in 56, I still get p equals 7, so I get the correct answer, okay? This could save a lot of time on the SAT, and it's just a good skill to learn, especially if your algebra skills aren't great. If you learn how to use Desmos, it can really help you improve your SAT score. All right, thanks for watching.